Welcome back to a new video. Today I have one of my favorite electric car in 2024. It's about the brand new Renault Scenic E-Tech full electric and not only it's my favorite car but also was the best electric car 2024 in Romania. It was the best car at Geneva International Motor Show 2024. So it's not just me that I like the car. There are a lot of uh, journalists, press and all kind of people so today in this video I want to present you the car we will do the full review interior exterior material quality space multimedia system everything about the car I hope you will find out in this video so if you still have question after this video you can ask me down below in the comment I will answer you with pleasure of course I will have some separate video test drive video if you want to see the car on the road I already drive it today and yesterday and I have a few days time with the car so I can make a proper idea about how the car it is and i definitely give you a lot of information in the test drive video so definitely check out that video as well now guys i want to give you the price technical data and then we will go outside we will talk a little bit about the exterior interior and in the end as always we will take the conclusion so first of all let me give you the technical data renault Scenic come in free version evolution techno and esprit alpine today i have with me the esprit alpine the top of the range version and from there you can kind of customize and add different options i will try to explain you as we go in this video the version that i have with me it's esprit alpine it comes in two power trains so if you get the evolution version you will get the same electric motor but it's limited to 170 horsepower but you will get a smaller battery a 60 kilowatt hour battery where on the techno and esprit alpine you will get the bigger battery 87 kilowatt hour battery plus you will get around 220 horsepower i will give you in a second all the technical data about that so today i have the uh, top of the range version esprit alpine it's a phenomenal car and the difference between evolution version and esprit alpine version it's around 7000 euro now depending which country you are the price might be different and also the optional price might be different so yeah you have to check on renault website to configure it in your country but let me give you the technical data for this esprit alpine the most powerful version first of all it's very important to point out that it's a front wheel drive system it comes with only one electric motor mount in the front 218 horsepower 300 newton meters at the battery capacity 87 kilowatt hour battery it's an 400 volt architecture lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide is the battery it's a lithium battery but a different type of lithium battery nmc and the way they array and they design this battery it's a little bit better than other lithium battery because it take much more heat a little bit better it has a thermal system a little bit better so the risk of inflammation and all that stuff it's a little bit more reduced than on the other lithium battery but more about that i will try to explain you in a different video i really plan to make a video with all types of batteries and stuff like that 0 to 100 7.9 seconds top speed 170 km per hour it's limited there the consumption estimated it's 17.2 kilowatt hour and if you want to see if that's true check out the test drive video because i test there also the consumption the range of the car because it's an electric car the range is super super important probably the most important it is on this version with 87 kilowatt hour battery the car can drive up to 611 kilometer vltp it's estimation but after i drive the car for two days now and after i drive it also before i have to tell you that you can manage to reach without any problem 500 kilometers now depend on many factors but you can reach 500 km without any problem with this car you can charge it at maximum charging power in dc 150 kilowatt and in ac maximum charging is 22 kilowatt hour so that means from 10 percent to 80 percent in 40 minutes in dc you will be just good to go price of the car start at if i'm not wrong 39,900 euro for the evolution version and it can go up to 40 7,500 euro for Esprit Alpine then you can add some extra options and the price can go a little bit higher but keep in mind those are the kind of uh, starting prices also when it comes to space it's very important the space and for me this Renault Scenic it's a fantastic all-arounder it's a great city car and also a great cruiser on the highway great for going in the holiday great for having kids and I will show you that in this video why 
and when it comes to trunk space you have 545 liters and if you fold down the seats completely it can go up to 1670 liters also when it comes to suspension the car come with independent type mcpherson suspension on the front and independent multi-link suspension on the rear the ground clearance 14.5 centimeters and the weight of this car it's around 1863 kilograms those are the most important technical data about the car let's go outside let's talk a little bit about the exterior interior and then in the end we will take the conclusion this is the key uh, of the car the same key as Breno use it also on other models on the back you have the new logo and here we have the buttons to unlock the car lock the car turn on the lights for example if you park in the nighttime I don't know if you can see it so well because it's pretty uh, sunny today but if you park it in the nighttime in some place you don't know where it's your car you can turn on the lights and also you can open the trunk automatically from here because it comes with an automatic lift gate at least on this um, Esprit Alpine version that we have right here if you want to close it you cannot close it from the key keep in mind that you have to come here uh, to press this button in order to close the trunk we will go in the trunk in a second also what I like very very much on these Renault cars in general I see that Renault use it also on um, Dacia models for example this uh, feature is the fact that when you come close to the car the car will unlock and also with lock let me show you I just locked the doors if you go a little bit farther away and then when you come closer to the car check this out the car will automatically unlock and also those beautiful handles will pop out and also when you go farther away you can see that the car will lock without touching anything and this is such a such a convenient feature i really love this feature otherwise you already saw those nice pop-up handles that looks really cool and also they feel really good quality i really like them to be honest also the doors quality they sound pretty pretty nice i should say over the average in terms of quality the way they sound and also of course the car come with electric folding mirror as you saw before this is also a super useful feature at least when you have bigger car or big mirrors like this uh, they will be protected anyway this is what you can do with the key i have to be honest with you guys the french designers are really really good the french car in, in special renault and also peugeot makes such a beautiful designs i really love the design the exterior design of this new scenic i think it looks so futuristic i think it looks quite premium and it looks really modern and nice i don't know if i would change something i really like the the front end the back end look phenomenal the way they design the tail lights the combination of colors and i'm really happy that they give me the white car because in this way you can see also the little angles the sharp angles and the design of the car a little bit better when the car it's a little bit brighter also the combination of black glossy with this white look fabulous on the car i really like it man I, I in terms of exterior design i think it's one of the most beautiful electric car and it's also pretty big i mean if you look it online on the internet on the videos you won't notice that the car it's pretty big i mean it's quite long it's quite big so it has this stance of a powerful car and that's really impressive it would really look like a like a crossover SUV, a small SUV. I really like that. Look at that, the front, how powerful it is. It's kind of an angry front end. It's super sunny outside today, so you probably won't see it so well, but it looks really, really nice. It comes with LED lights everywhere. So all the lights on the exterior are LED lights. I will show you in a second. Also, it comes with those 20 inch rims. They come special on Esprit Alpine, but you can go with 19 inch rims and they are much more aerodynamic in the design also they will help a little bit more the range so if you want to uh, somehow uh, extend the range you can go with the other rims smaller rims or you can buy the other rims as well so some alloy wheels you use it for the summer and some you use it for the winter 
Anyway, let's go a little bit closer to the car to talk in details. So here you can see the upper part of the car, it's in black glossy and it looks phenomenal. Even the roof rails are in black glossy. Here you have the panoramic glass roof. They call it Solar Bay. I will show you when we go inside how cool it is and how we can change from opaque to transparent. So this is also a cool feature. There is the radio antenna, very nice, modern and small. You have the roof spoiler that has such a nice design, such a nice angles and lines and it's quite kind of square design and it looks really cool also extended on the side tinted windows on the rear you have heated window on the rear you have this wiper here is the brake light that looks great also on the side you have tinted windows here uh, and then this glossy it's kind of extended here and also here on the b pillar so it's it's really nice it looks really nice together it's blending really really cool you have those lines here on the side you can see the scenic writing right here in the middle in black also you have the new uh, renault logo here you have the e-tech electric so you know this is an electric version and a little bit lower you will see led lights on the number plate reverse camera you have six sensors on the rear for parking and also for safety features it comes with a lot of safety features like blind spot technology and all that stuff but it's great to know that you have uh, a lot of sensors uh, also on the down part on the bumper you have some gray mat here you have this black matte plastic this is super useful because it's also it will also protect your car so if, if, even if someone uh, hit you around here you will be just fine down here you have the fog lamp on both parts and also the reverse light if i'm not wrong it's also down there close to the fog lamp i don't remember exactly but i have a video in the nighttime where i show you all the lights so it's already online you can check it out but also pretty clean pretty nice design pretty simple uh, but in the same time it looks really good i love these areas here the way they extend this area here it's kind of a three-dimensional uh, outside element that they build in the bumper and it looks much more sportier it looks interesting i didn't see it until now on another car but it looks really cool a little bit higher of course those led tail lights also the turning signal it's kind of transforming this area usually it's the tail lights red tail lights but now when you turn the signals on you will see that those following turning signals turn on and also kind of a three-dimensional shape there it looks really interesting really really cool also if i go a little bit backward it looks even better now when you see all the the design together the charging port you have it right here in the front on the right side and you open it simple just push it very good quality on the door as well here you have the ac charging power maximum 22 kilowatt and you have the dc charging power maximum 150 kilowatts so that would be just fine from 10 to 80 percent in around 40 minutes even though you have a big big battery 87 kilowatt hour battery will be just fine black mirror the same as the roof and then you have the turning signals led lights here and usually it should come with 360 degrees camera so usually you will have a camera here this car doesn't have that option so yeah keep in mind also big mirrors great visibility so from this point of view it's it's just fine also on the windshield a little bit higher here in this area you have the cameras i don't know if you can see it right now but there you have the camera and also the sensors for light and raining and the camera in this area from for the camera it's heated so in the winter when it's icy it will be defrosted pretty quick so you can use the same safety features also in the winter time so that's again something very very useful going in the front powerful front end really love the way it looks it looks powerful it looks nice it really attract the the people view when you're driving the car and uh, what I like the most in the last years is the fact that not only the premium brand cars uh, attract the people eyes, but also these Renault cars and French cars with those new designs are pretty much attractive and you are proud to drive this car on the street as well. So you don't need only a Mercedes to drive on the street to be proud, let's say like that. You can drive also this Renault Scenic without any problem because it might be more beautiful than many, many other Mercedes design cars. Anyway, these days for sure, if you look at the Mercedes electric cars, all they are like super aerodynamic, but this one have a little bit character, a little bit of personality added to it. So 
yeah, sometimes I much more prefer this design and it also drives super nice. Talking about the headlamps, you have here Renault on the side, plus you have LED lights for, for low beam and the high beam LED lights, not matrix, but LED lights, also nice integrated here. I really love these turning signals down here, also that transform in the daytime running light when you stop the, the hazard light, six sensors on the front as well. Beautiful design on the grill here, you already saw that, probably one of the most beautiful grill like a snake skin or something like that uh, it looks really really nice also it's all close around here you have the Renault logo in the middle behind it is the radar for all that safety features that works together with the camera from up there and down here the only grill you will find it around here where the air will go inside to cool down different parts like the battery so yeah that's cool uh, otherwise pretty simple design you have some trim added to this plastic but overall it looks super nice build i also know the designer of this car i meet her um, and it was so inspired really love the design esprit alpine on both sides so you to know uh, that this is the esprit alpine version with 20 inch rims it looks so good it stand out on the street a lot and what i like about the car is the fact that they have this they added this plastic protection and you see it's extended like one to one 1.5 centimeters and this will protect the area and the edges of the car and also here and also down here on the down skirt you have all these plastics to protect the, the edges of the car and that's so so useful trust me it's really useful in many situations even here the down skirt with a little bit of plastic gray mat look quite nice let's talk a little bit about the rims 20 inch rims it comes with those michelin tires uh, but they look super nice alloy wheels two colors uh, also ventilated brake discs on the front normal brake calipers the Renault logo in the middle it looks so cool so cool and also on the back I was surprised to see that it comes with ventilated brake discs as well so otherwise the same same story and you can see right now the handles are popping so that helped the aerodynamic of the car so in case you have the key inside like I have and the handles pop out you can do it like that press it here and then pull it out and then you open the door just like that just in case you don't know that now let me stop the hazard light by the way let me show you the, the engine bay you open it from there once you go here uh, you open it from here down here keep in mind that around here on the left side you have to pull it left and then up this is a manual lift gate but it's very light i like the fact that this is light so it uses a light material that's super important and then down here you don't have any storage space like usually in some electric cars but it's a front wheel drive system so most of the electronics in the motor are around here the liquid for the wipers is here on the right side with yellow cap and then you have the liquid cooling for the brakes and then here liquid cooling yeah and otherwise it's pretty much classic Anyway, the climatic system is working, that's why you hear some noise right now. Also, it comes with heated pump standard on all versions. That's, an, again, another thing to point out, to keep in mind. Down here, you have a button, you press this button and open up the trunk. Now, when it comes to trunk, super, super much space. But yeah, anyway, we will go in a second there. You have two handles up here, plus you have this button to close the trunk. Now the entrance is quite big, it's quite square. You have plenty of space to fit in uh, your stuff. But keep in mind that you don't have a flat floor. So you don't have a flat floor here because they kind of design it to be much more uh, deeper and much more, let's say, practical somehow because you have like, check this out, you have like 35 to maybe, yeah, I think 35 to 40 centimeters here. I mean, it's, it's a lot of space, man. It's really, really deep, plenty of space to put a lot of stuff here. You can also put four tires or whatever you wanna put here. Uh, it's super, super big, this uh, trunk. Here on the left, you have a hook, right side, you have a light, and then you have a 12 volt port again another hook here super useful and down here under the floor but only on the on this area you can open this up because there is like the battery and all other parts but here 
I don't think it's a battery. I think down, down there are the, the parts from the wheels. But here it's plenty of space to put your cables or whatever things you want to put there, repair kit, triangles and all that stuff. And also it comes standard with those cables uh, when you buy the car so you don't have to pay extra for them. Again, something that I love about the car is the fact that you can fold down the middle part and it's quite big, man. I mean, the middle part, check this out. It's really, really big. You can carry long items without any problem and in the same time have two passengers on the left and right side. And this for me, it's crazy important. Then if you want to fold down the other seat, you just pull this rope and then pull it up and push it forward. It's hard to do this with one hand and with camera, but I will still try to do it just like that. It's a little bit farther away. And once you fold it down again, you don't have a flat floor here. Probably was quite practical to add some kind of floor around here that you can take it out. But even so, even so, I think you have plenty, plenty of space, huge, huge space here. So practical is pretty good. Another thing is the fact that you have kind of a step here around. So you have maybe 15 centimeters. The step, it's, it's quite, quite big. So yeah, keep in mind that you have a super deep trunk. But uh, in terms of practicality, I still think you have more than enough space to put a lot of items here. Now, again, something really interesting. Let me show you again. Here in the back, man, I was surprised when I saw that first time. Look at the door. How big is the door? Look at the entrance. The entrance in the back, it's huge. One of the biggest, biggest entrance. It's really, really big. So you can fit in stuff even here from the side. Uh, also the seat belt, you have to take it out uh, just like that. But look at, look at this guys. I mean, look how much space you have here. It's incredible. It's incredible. Really, really big space. Also from here, you can see the panoramic glass roof. That looks so cool. Also, we will talk about it a little bit later. Down here on the legs, again, huge space. You can add here, it's a flat floor. It's a proper flat floor and you can add here a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty practical in general. A lot of space. And you will see in a second when I go there, how much space you have also as a passenger. A huge door and beautiful design. And also something that I love about the car is the fact that you have one piece of glass here from one piece so it's not split in two and when you want to fold it down you can fold it until here but the, the good part is that if it, you have one piece you have fantastic visibility from the interior and i will show you in a second beautiful design also on the door it looks really nice with this bluish insertion here on the door this trim look great here you have an led light that you can see it in the nighttime inserted in this chrome plate here you have the handle in black glossy super cool and then here you have some leather very very good quality with the blue stitches and down here even in the door bands you have this plushy design soft material inside here the door bands that's super high class quality probably one of the most high quality uh, storage space that you can get here in the door bands here you have a speaker and at the entrance you have some plastic and this is the entrance as you saw before pretty big entrance guys i mean you have a lot of space here and you can see in a second when i go inside there how much space you have uh, on the legs and also on the head but until then check this out those are the esprit alpin seats a nice combination between this leather and textile material. You have also side support, side support here. Pretty good quality, even if it's textile material around here, it's super good quality. Isofix for child here in the back. And also you have another Isofix for child in the front, I will show you later. Also in the middle, you can also uh, fold down this uh, middle armrest and the cool part is that you fold it down completely even with the headrest and let me show you something this is one of the most amazing armrest that you will see at least in those kind of cars because if you buy a rolls royce or if you buy a mercedes that cost two hundred thousand dollars euro or over one hundred thousand i understand but this is a renault scenic guys that cost around 
47,500 euro. And look at the armrest. You have leather here, you have some chrome. You open it up like that and you have two USB-C ports right here. That's incredible. And not only here, but you have another two USB-C ports here. And of course in the front as well. But look how cool it is. Look at the quality here. And that's not all. Check out. Oh my God, look at this, man. You can put your phone here. You can put your tablet. It's so practical. Again, here, Stoff Mateo. Fantastic. Love it. I mean, I love it. This is one of the pieces uh, that shows you they put a lot of work in this car and a lot of good quality. Otherwise, pretty, pretty good quality everywhere. Behind the front seats, you have some storage space up here, storage space here. S here you have this leather soft material, so you don't have that hard plastic. So I like that storage space here, storage space in the front, super nice quality. Also a flat floor down there. You already saw that before. Let me go inside the car. Oh, go inside, super easy. Let me close the door. You saw the, this before, you have a speaker here and then you have the big speaker, you have the LED light. You can see it a little bit better here. Up here you have another LED handle, hooks. Also on the roof, you have this roof gray color. It's kind of a gray color, really interesting the way it looks. It's quite nice. This is my driving position. So better I go behind myself. I can go so easy. Probably one of the most spacious place in the middle uh, seat. So crazy crazy spacious right here you cannot adjust these seats uh, but it's crazy spacious here i'm 173 centimeters but you can see for yourself i have like almost half of my hands here i mean i have so much space and this is my driving position and it's crazy spacious i can stretch a little bit the, the legs in the front on the head room i have like five five and a half fingers over my head and also visibility is fantastic because I told you you have this window extended here so you have perfect visibility outside soft material here and even the the comfort on the seats it's quite quite good so pff, nothing to complain I really love what I see here now in the middle you have two vents that looks so cool you can turn it on and off and a little bit lower you have two USB-C that I showed you before super useful and if i go in the middle i go so easy in the middle look at this one of the most spacious space in the middle and then again huge space on my legs and then on the head i have less space like four fingers also here in the middle it's not bad to be honest down here it's pretty soft and nice i like that and in the back it, even in the back it's not that hard as i was expected so it's pretty good in terms of of quality it's it's quite fine Stretch my hands mm, almost completely. Stretch my hand almost completely. But you have a, f a place here to stay for medium to, yeah, maybe even long trips without any problem. And even the headrest, it's quite nice. You have this beautiful panoramic glass roof that now it's turned to opaque. I will show you a little bit later how it works. But also here you have some storage space. Now guys, check out the front part. The dashboard it looks so futuristic so modern so new i love it the same as the exterior design the interior look also uh, fantastic from my point of view very nice and intelligent the way they array the buttons and the screens you have the screen tilted practical the ergonomy it's pretty good so not too many things to complain you have this armrest incredible uh, and also look at the dashboard with this bluish insertion and you will see that it has some ambient light here and there uh, but yeah it looks cool and also the new steering wheel look fantastic from my point of view the shape of it uh, it looks great but yeah anyway let's go in the front to talk about those things also one big window from one piece kind of the same design on the front door as well up here on the upper side you have some plastic you have this nice beautiful blue trim then you have led light inserted in the chrome here you have leather this time so everywhere here you have leather you have the handles with black glossy leather here soft material the buttons for the windows lock the window you have the button to adjust the electric the mirrors and also to fold the mirrors if you want to and down here again the same stuff nice material inside the door bands super high quality and then here you have a speaker you have alpine writing on an aluminum plate really beautiful on this Al esprit alpine version aluminum pedal of course on this esprit alpine version and then the thing is that this is a pre-production car kind of a press car 
and is not the same as it's supposed to be the Esprit Alpin. They kind of customize a little bit different in order to build it faster, to show it to the press and to the people. And that's why usually it should have electric, full electric seats. So if you will order this, you will have full electric seats, but this one have manual adjustable seats, but the lumbar part, it's electric adjustable. So yeah, keep in mind that there are a few things here on the car that are not the same as on the uh, car that you will probably configure it and buy. This is the entrance in the front guys. Big entrance again the same as on the rear. Those are the seats. This is the way it looks the panoramic glass roof. And by the way talking about the panoramic glass roof let me show you something. From here you can turn it opaque or you can leave it all the way uh, transparent. So let me show you how I do that. So ah, I have to turn on the car because the car is off right now. Press the brake. I have to turn on the car again. Now it's good. And let me show you right now. If you look at the glass up there, let me zoom out. And if you play with it from here, check this out. Look at this, look how cool it is. And you can turn it all uh, transparent or you can turn it opaque. And the cool part is what I was surprised to see, it's that, that really helped with the sun. And this is something that you can see with your own uh, naked eyes, but if you will look, for example, down to the center armrest, uh, you will see how the sun appears also on my hand a little bit more. And if you turn it off a little bit less, you see it's much more opaque. You see that? It's cool. And then the air, the, the sun will come a little bit slower. Uh, let's see, dim it. So yeah, anyway, very, very helpful uh, in the in the summertime when it's super hot those are the seats the same combination of textile material with leather also you have the french flag on the side with blue stitches that signify the the french flag and also the alpin esprit alpin you have an a here as, as well side support are fantastic i drive the car and it's really really comfortable but even this textile material here it feels uh, like it, it it will last longer it feels good quality now here on the left side, you have electronic handbrake, auto hold button, and you can see it there. And then a little bit higher, you have the button to turn on and off the safety features and also to customize the safety features, I will show you later. Here you open the trunk, here you have uh, leather and soft material everywhere in this area on the dash, the same beautiful blue trim on the dash. And also here you have the vents that uh, send the air and also you can close it and open it from here, just like that super cool down here in the middle in the center console it's it's incredible let me show you you have in the front i don't know if you can see it right there you have a 12 volt port and huge huge storage space here you can put a lot of items without any problem under the center console there and not only there but you have also storage space here where is the key you have also storage space here in the center console it's just fantastic and even this armrest it's adjustable check this out you can adjust it like that that's so useful anyway let me go inside because outside it's crazy hot i will adjust a little bit the seats visibility outside it's crazy good around the windows also you can see uh, in the mirror up here very good visibility and this mirror has such a nice tiny edges you can get a mirror with the camera also up here that's an option that's really cool as well i will show you in a, probably in another video and also in the back you can see the visibility it's quite quite good on the windows you can see one more time the seats here is the armrest you already saw it plenty of storage space down there here you have also this leather ambient light inserted in this chrome the vents feel also super good quality and then here you have some storage space where you can put different items also the glow box it's quite nice here is the start stop engine button the vents up here very beautiful the way they integrate the screens i like the fact that this screen is tilted to the driver so you have a very good visibility from the driver point of view also here very nice leather and right here you have a wireless charging for your phone you can uh, charge your phone wireless right here you have the hazard light button lock the door buttons and you have physical button for every uh, single climatic system function so from here you can 
customize and choose the speed you have hit it steering wheel hit it seats on this version that i have with me the steering wheel it's adjustable manually up down forward backward so simple fantastic steering wheel i love the grip i love the quality we have alcantara here in the middle and leather and the size of it and the grip of it when you turn uh, it's fantastic and also it's perfectly made to, to have a very good visibility also in the screen in the front right there love it then here you have a button from where you can change the different driving modes so you can go through echo sport personal mode you can customize this personal mode uh, comfort mode and every time you change it it's change also the colors and also the ambient color is changing and then you have also echo mode it goes to everything to green and then sport mode of course it goes everything to red and you can see even the ambient light is turned to red so yeah that's cool uh, let me go back to echo mode good behind the same wheel you have those pedals here plastic pedals and from those plastic pedals you can see on the screen there you can customize how many regenerative brake to have so you can choose to have it like that where the car is just rolling when you release the acceleration or you can go all the way you have three levels of recuperation so you change and play with them from here it's fantastically uh, useful I try it also in the test drive video if you want to see it check it out otherwise love the steering wheel also those buttons around the steering wheel you will think like oh maybe they are touch no they are not touch they are physical buttons hear this out so every time you press them you will hear and you will feel like it's a proper button but the way they hide it behind this nice glossy screen it's so smart it's so fantastic because we need uh, physical buttons to be easy to use but in the same time we need to look premium and then they they nail it they did a great job i love it a little bit higher you have the cock from the french so you probably know the french flag and the cock it's kind of a let's say tradition so they know you know it's from the french and so on you have harman kardon speakers of course very good sound system so they are kind of optionals a little bit higher here you have the mirror with an led light and then you have the handle and then you have sos button led lights and then from here you also turn on and off that uh, panoramic solar bay glass roof if you want to customize the screen you do it from here it comes with this new digital cockpit from Renault so you can customize in many ways the resolution and the graphics are really nice and here you can see the information about uh, the driving and how you drive it or when you use energy here you can see the whole map on the screen so the great part is that you can see uh, the map and it uses Google integration that means you have the Google map you have the Google Assistant you have all the advantage of having an Android uh, system right here on the car and the great part is that you have all the traffic and all that information but anyway here is the map then you have another view where you have the driving systems when you activate the autopilot and you can see the lane assist and all that info around you then this is a kind of a simple with the speed view and then you have also um, the same things but also on the right side you can customize to see the media you can see the echo monitoring you can see the uh, distance that you travel and you can see an estimated range if you drive on the highway it's pretty cool it shows you here if you drive mostly in the city you can reach with the battery that i have 79 percent you can reach around 498 kilometers or if you go on the highway 270 so it's really cool that it shows you that so you know what you can expect in the future and then of course you have the consumption right here so average consumption really nice stuff really really nice stuff i should say uh, also um, let's go forward to the multimedia screen because this is the one of the most interesting my favorite one of my favorite multimedia system on the market these days is this one the new one from Renault it's because it's so responsive man I mean the screen it's fantastically responsive it's the same as on your phone like like you're having a, an uh, Android phone and yeah you can see how how fast it works and you have in real time all the updates you have internet connectivity it shows you also the traffic information look how fast 
let me cancel this route and let me put another route for example uh, let's go to other country let's go for example to Hungary right and you just wait check this out press start you can see how fast it's loading that's the fantastic part it's one of the most fastest navigation system and the great part is that it shows you where to stop man i mean uh, you have to drive for two hours you saw that ah, it was so fast it shows you where you have to stop for how long you have to stop with how many percentage you arrive it shows you the traffic here on the route for how many minutes you stay there and in real time it can recalculate and send you on another different route and it shows you where they work on the street and where you have to stop and it's so so cool and it shows you where to stop look at this on the track you have like three stops 11 minutes 29 minutes 30 the same as tesla it shows you also that you have to stop right here and for how long you have to stop right here on the first stop so uh, from my point of view it's extremely extremely inter uh, interesting and uh, intelligent system so yeah i love it and you can also avoid tools avoid different stuff uh, crazy crazy nice one of the best navigation for sure on the market these days now on the lower part you have all the information you already saw it before and on the higher part you have all the shortcuts if you want to go to media here you also go to radius and also you have the settings here for the audio sound and you can choose how the sound to be immersive studio club concert podcast and create by uh, jean michel anyway this is the, the, the guy that creates also the sound uh, when you're driving the car in different driving modes. Uh, here on the sound you have also other extended um, sound systems. So from here you find all the sound system and all the settings of it. Going to the telephone here you can connect your phone and going here to the apps. Here you have all the apps. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Wireless of course. You have also the podcast and all the news and Google Assist and Google Map. And here in the future from Play Store, you can install different apps. And let's hope uh, we can install also YouTube and other apps. That would be fantastic. Yeah, anyway, going forward to the car, here are the most important uh, settings. Because here you find the driving modes like Comfort, Echo, Sport and Personalize. And if you go to personalize, if you go to configurate, you can configurate how you like the personal driving mode to be. You can choose to be in echo and you can choose the steering effort to medium and even the vehicle dynamics to be sport, for example. So it's great that you can customize the car in your own way and to feel what you like to feel. Go to electric and you see a nice graphic with what happened with energy in real time when the car is recuperate or when you use energy program here battery here how much you want to charge the car on the next charge that's also super useful and then you go to settings and you have this the interesting sounds created by Jean-Michel um, Jarre or you can choose neutral or expressive so yeah you can choose how you like to have those sounds and then you have the air quality the great part on this a uh, new Renault Scenic is the fact that it has very good quality air filters that mean you can purify the air inside the cabin so what I noticed last days I drive the car and I noticed that you never feel any smell or dust from outside even though if you drive in the traffic in a super crowded city you won't hear any uh, you won't feel and smell any gas or uh, particles so they are very good filters and i love that this is for me super important uh, when i drive in a super crowded and polluted city uh, my driving modes here you have the safety this is something new that renault bring on the new cars uh, it teach you to drive more safe to keep the speed in the speed limit to follow the distance between the car in front and to stay between the trajectory it shows you the history how you drive and also the eco mode that you probably know uh, teach you how to drive economical it was before uh, driving assistance systems here you find all the safety features and here you put it all on 
or you can personalize it on the perso and you can choose all the safety features that you want to be activated or deactivated so yeah this is also pretty cool then you have comfort here you have the following di distance that shows you the distance and the parking um, settings then on the vehicle you have all that vehicle from access welcome lights and so on driving lights and wipers and cockpit and then you have also the, the tires so that's cool and the last one is the settings where you have all the settings from sound settings bluetooth settings you have date and time language if you go to system you have language units storage and all that stuff information about the system and so on fantastically smart system also if you slide from up down you can choose different settings also the traction control you can turn it on and off from here air purifier and so on i think you can also customize these areas around there uh, to choose what you like to have fantastic car guys that was the video i don't know i hope i cover everything i hope you make an idea about the car also let me show you that look at this you can see how cool it is i make it transparent you can see the difference right now it's it's look at this it's transparent and you can see the sun hitting my face and if i put it opaque back look at my face and my hand look at the sun on my hand you see it's kind of it's kind of a disappear right now right it's much more dim and much more nicer light inside the car and it's really helpful because i try it on my car on my tesla model y and it seems to be a little bit better this one i don't know maybe it's my impression but yeah it's definitely better when it's dimmed like down because the sun is doesn't come inside the car so powerful anyway that was the video guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you get some useful information from here i hope i cover everything if i miss something if you still have questions ask me down below i'll try to answer to all of you other than that don't miss out the test drive video i have separate video with the same car there you can see how it is on the road you can see also the consumption because i test the consumption there so yeah definitely Definitely check it out because it will be really interesting thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos i really appreciate that guys also i will really appreciate if you can like share subscribe that will mean a lot for me thank you very much guys stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys